So the first thing that changed everything for us as far as acquiring customers in the winter was connections. And I know what you guys are probably thinking, Justin, this isn't an actionable step that I can take to acquire new customers, but it actually is. So last year, which was our first year in business, we hadn't made the two contacts that accounted for almost $18,000 in our business. This December, the first contact was an industrial plant job that we landed for $15,000 from a guy that we did a house wash and a driveway cleaning for almost 11 months ago. We landed him originally through a Facebook ad, and as we spoke with him and built a relationship, we discovered that he worked for the plants here locally and that he was also in charge of making purchasing decisions for them as well. He mentioned that if he ever needed a company to do some work, he would reach out and make sure that we had the first opportunity to land the job. So of course we kept in contact and Kale would reach out periodically throughout the year to see if he ever needed any work done. Every time Kale reached out, he never needed anything done. But two weeks ago, he gave us a call on an emergency roof cleaning that they needed done and it ended up being $15,000 worth of work. With regards to following up with customers, keeping up with good contacts, all we had to do was call this guy periodically throughout the year to secure a $15,000 job and obviously it was worth it. The second contact was a painter who we became friends with this year. He refers any washing work he gets to us and we do the same for him with regards to painting. Well, he got a job for a U.S. postal building doing some painting inside of the building and the owner asked him for a recommendation for a pressure washing company and now we're going to be doing a $3,000 wash and parking lot stripe. So $18,000 worth of work came in because of two relationships that we established in kept up with throughout the year and it just goes to show that you are one connection away from 500 to five thousand dollars if not more so you want to make sure that you find those contacts and prioritize keeping up with them and establishing a relationship building a relationship that is mutually beneficial throughout the year so that way when these opportunities come up you can take full advantage of them but we're giving away a ford ranger next month to a premium or platinum subscriber of quote iq so if you need help keeping track of customers sending estimates invoices or collecting payments check out quote iq linked in the comment section and the description of this video the second thing that changed everything for us was something that i've heard mike say a few different times and it's to push commercial or industrial jobs that aren't time sensitive to the end of the year for whenever things get slow so we didn't do this intentionally with this job but there was an industrial job that i landed using my facebook ad strategy i've mentioned this in a past video and it took a three months in total to quote and get this job on the schedule now i'm going to be doing a dedicated video on this one because there was an entire process of how we got in front of these people how we scheduled it and all of the different drama that went into that but we were able to push a nine thousand dollar job much later into the year and give ourselves a really good december when it typically would have been a much slower month for us so tip two is if you have any commercial work that isn't time sensitive delay it into the slow season so that way you know you have it in your back pocket and you know that you can count on it whenever things get a little bit slower and for any commercial work you do throughout the year try and get it on a recurring basis so that even if you're doing one service earlier in the year you can push a recurring service into your slow time like december or whatever month that is for you the last thing that changed everything for us was doubling down on facebook ads and running holiday specials into december now a lot of people will pump the brakes when it comes to their advertising budgets especially when things get slow but what you really want to do is the opposite you really want to ramp things up whenever everything Everything gets slow and I say Facebook ads because in the winter months search traffic on Google for keywords like pressure washing goes down and the only way to really get in front of these homeowners is by utilizing interruption based marketing such as Facebook ads that leverage pain points specifically